Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch, the show that fuels your business success. I'm Brandon Gano, your host and guide through the world of harmonious business growth. Today, we're unlocking powerful strategies with industry experts to help your business thrive. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or executive, you are in the right place. Join me and our incredible guest today on the journey to clarity, growth, and success. It is time to revolutionize your approach to business. Let's dive in with another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Welcome back to some more bite-sized business advice. Today, we are going to talk about the platform that everybody's on that nobody can figure out. At least I'm speaking for myself. We're talking about LinkedIn, how to turn your LinkedIn to a gold mine. And I have a very special guest who has a really interesting product who can uh, really help you do that. So before we dive in any further... Charles, I'm going to mess up your name. I already forgot it. Charles Garencher. Did I mess perfect. it up? Perfect. I got it. Perfect. Okay. Well, if you're a longtime subscriber, you know we don't edit. So you just heard that embarrassing moment from me. Charles, welcome to the show, though. Thank you for being here. All right, Brandon. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. So uh, LinkedIn, right? It's where, it's where small business owners and entrepreneurs were told we need to be. We're told we need to maximize the platform to grow our businesses. But it is very confusing. Uh, again, speaking for myself, but I've talked to a lot of people who are in the same boat. So um, kind of before we get into your your software, which I'm really curious to hear about, I want to hear like what brought about you developing a software program that leverages LinkedIn? Uh, what, what was the reason behind that? Cool. Well, yeah, Brandon, uh, as you just said it, it's it's something folks know they need to have. Um, very few do it well. And when I say do it, you know, get any kind of yield out of their presence on LinkedIn. Um, you know, my personal history with LinkedIn is I I joined the platform in 2008. Um, at the time, it was still a, a pretty early stage social um, network. Um, what was happening on the platform in 2008 uh, was it was in its sort of early stages of growth. Um, I did it because I was relocating from los angeles to a, a much smaller market um, up in central california and it just seemed like a good time to sort of place myself on on the network and let people know i was going to be making a move and so at the time i mean linkedin um and to a large degree as it exists today for most people it's their digital resume their cv it's where they list their work current work previous work any types of notable professional accomplishments um, certain skills. Uh, and so it is certainly going to be the kind of place that potential collaborators are going to look to find you once they're introduced to you. So, so your LinkedIn is, is going to get some level of attention and scrutiny, whether you like it or not. So kind of at its first base, it's important that your LinkedIn profile is an accurate reflection of, of who you are and what you're doing. So that's so the baseline. So that's 2008 did it myself, um, found uh, that paying attention to my LinkedIn profile and spending a bit of time on it on a daily basis was yielding me really interesting conversations with people that I, I wouldn't necessarily be doing business with in that moment, but down the line, months, potentially years later, uh, by, by having a first um, level connection to that person, we can have communication on the platform. And so that was that was a pretty interesting an attractive um, feature of the platform is that it existed outside of email, outside of cell phones, outside of business lines. And it was just another way to, you know, send a message and, and get a reply. So much like a typical social channel, what I liked about LinkedIn then and like about it very much today is it is certainly the place to do business. So fast forward to, you know, 2023, 2024, um, I've made LinkedIn development in terms of my own personal development and that of my staff at, at the various companies that I've worked within and um, as an entrepreneur myself owned, uh, I've made LinkedIn a priority initiative internally. So my internal SOPs are, you know, emails need to do X, your signature needs to look like Y, or social channels need to be like this, and your LinkedIn profile needs to follow this basic rubric. And what I realized is that LinkedIn was not only growing, but it was growing so prodigiously 
that it was just a matter of time before it became you know, one of the, if not the absolute largest network for doing business. And so true to form, earlier this year, LinkedIn announced it had reached 1 billion monthly active users. That's a pretty significant number, you know, when you consider, you know, the world of career development and business, um, it's certainly a force to be reckoned with. And, and so it makes sense that something that I have paid a lot of attention to um, going on a decade and a half would be a place that I would start to do some, some serious investing um, and create a business that took what I've learned, that has taken what I've learned in terms of uh, the proper way to channel LinkedIn and turn it into actionable items and outputs that, that matter and can actually affect um, sales and revenue. Yeah, that's that's an interesting journey. I'm curious before because I want to hear about uh, Linked VA now and and how you can do that and leverage LinkedIn for people to get more leads, get more sales, and obviously make more money. But uh, LinkedIn in early early 20 teens, you said was a, a channel of communication outside of email, outside of cell phones. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot's changed on the platform between then and now. How would you summarize the LinkedIn of today, LinkedIn of 2024? What is it? I don't think we really understand fully. It ha it hasn't changed that much in that um, if you've set your account up correctly, when you get a, a message or, a, or an action, uh, a notification on LinkedIn, there is a redundancy so that it's not just a, a message sitting on the platform, but you also get alerted on your chosen uh, mode of communication. And for about 95% of users, that's going to be email. The challenge with LinkedIn and why it needs to be paid attention to, why serious professionals should really take a, a hard look at what their LinkedIn profile says about them, and then ultimately what they're getting off the platform, is that if you set up your profile five or six years ago, two or three jobs ago, there's a fair chance that those alerts and messages are not actually going to your current you know, most important email inbox. Uh, and, and true to form with the, you know, we're, we, we've now got hundreds of customers uh, under our management. Uh, that is one of the first things we tackle with most of our customers is where, where is their LinkedIn, uh, where are their LinkedIn alerts going? Um, one of the other things about LinkedIn is that it lives, um, it's a slightly different experience between app, mobile and desktop. Uh, um, the logic is all there in all three versions, but they, they don't all function and operate um, in the same fashion. And so that's an important distinction as well. So when I looked at starting this company, um, linkedvanow.com is in effect full service lead generation and account management for entrepreneurs and professionals. So think of us like an agency that is going to be exclusively focused on taking your native LinkedIn profile and turning it into, as we like to say, you know, the gold mine, uh, the lead gold mine that it can be. Um, a lot of folks think about LinkedIn and and their first thoughts are, oh, yeah, my profile is kind of lame. I, I have a bad picture on it or I don't even have my updated work history, whatever the case might be. This isn't just a, this isn't like a unique problem. Uh, Pew Research did a study last year and they ascertained that 97% of LinkedIn users, right, feel as though their profile is not only not current and not effective, but may even be a business liability. So when you've got one, you know, only one in 30 of the, of the total addressable market is, is an adept user, you know, there is pervasive need amongst the uh, audience to potentially take advantage of outsourcing, having a paid service work for you. And that's what I've created with Link to VA now. Um, my um, venture studio company has, has owned and developed technology that ties into LinkedIn for many, many years. The addition of full service human account management on top of the technology is in effect the recipe for what is living today as linked VA now. Is there something behind that? So when you say full service human um, human application, a human being is actually going into your profile, managing it and, and doing anything on it. It's not some software. Yeah, it's not AI. It's not, um, you know, it's not macros. It is actually, um, it is actually an account manager. And, and let me be clear, 
because of the software that we utilize, our proprietary software, we're not actually on your profile. We are just in the messaging interface yep. that works on your profile. So we're working on a separate dashboard. We are growing your network. We're using your authentic voice, your authentic brand to build your network up based on very specific um, customer targets. And as we build that um, network up, we are engaging in messaging with those with those now new connections that can eventually um, matriculate into prospects. And then we output those prospects to your desired CRM funnel. So uh, most folks who are in LinkedIn now, they know the experience of messaging within LinkedIn. And, and the most common out, outcome is messaging that goes nowhere. So the messaging that we know works, we put that in place it sort of pushes people up or out, um, offers them, you know, the opportunity to take action. Sometimes that's a consultation. Sometimes that's some sort of um, free product uh, or a demo. Uh, and then that output goes to the CRM. And now you have your LinkedIn profile connected to LinkVA now actually producing X number of leads per week. Um, and you can really get a handle on what your, your ROI is with respect to our platform. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think that's where people really struggle with any social media platform. Um, it's it's what is that process, right? So I get a ton of cold messages a day on LinkedIn, Facebook, um, e emails, and 99% of them are terrible. And mm -hmm. you could tell it's just it's either a robot going in saying hi, uh, or like sales pitch, right to sales pitch. So I'm curious, you don't have to give me the secret sauce. But what's what's kind of your process? Do you start with a relationship building message and then offer the a demo or whatever it is? Or how do you go about building that connection on LinkedIn? Yeah. with So within lead generation, I look at really two, um, you know, two very specific things that we do. One is we lead nurture. So the idea is to have more of a benign, make the professional connection first, not trying to sell anything, just trying to make sure there's a fit and that they're aligned interests. And then we harvest those leads. So the typical first message really has typically nothing to do with business. It's really focused more on let's create a meaningful connection because most of our customers that we take on have underdeveloped networks. Um, they don't have, they're not at the 500 plus, you know, they're, they're some typically below that. So the first thing we need to do is, is actually build that network up. And if your goal, um, you know, just as a, for instance, we, we, we work with sales teams and we work with, you know, revenue minded people. But we also work with a number of nonprofits who are looking to build a network of professionals that benefit their, you know, that, that are, um, could be mentors and, um, potential patrons, right. Of, of the nonprofit or they're building, um, uh, donation pipelines, things of that nature. So it's not always like a hard get, like sell X amount of $500 widgets. Sometimes it's a little softer than that. So the first thing we need to do is, is find out who are you targeting? And so sometimes it's going to be um, a vice president of human resources, or it's going to be a um, manager of, uh, you know, the technical shop. I mean, titles that don't mean a lot to you and I, but they mean a lot to that person in, in that industry. We were able to target by title, by geo, by um, previous work experience in an environment like LinkedIn, and we can do it very effectively. So the first thing we do is assess and in, a, in many ways audit the profile of the, of the client of ours, and then we do an audit of their network itself to find out whether there is alignment, whether there's opportunity to focus on lead nurturing and lead and lead harvesting. And oftentimes nine out of 10, there is not alignment. And so the first work is actually building up the network to a certain level of critical mass so that we can then launch campaigns to drive people to the, you know, to the call to action and to the out, output and the outcome that our clients are looking for. Now, when you say, well, I want to pause real quick because that's, you've been gracious enough to, and I put it on the screen here, if you're watching, offer a, a free LinkedIn profile audit for any of the listeners of Harmonious at Lunch. So we love you listeners and subscribers. Make sure you take advantage of that. 
wherever you're watching or listening, it's down below in the show notes. Um, but when you say campaign, is that, can you just define that for me? Because I think that's, that's where people, uh, miss a little bit. It's okay. I have all these connections. I post consistently. I'm still not seeing results. So define campaign and what that looks like. So an example of a campaign, let's say you're in the automotive aftermarket industry and right, you're looking for more distribution of your, of your product. And, and so your goal is to get in with shop managers or maybe it's even used car sales managers in the upper Midwest. Well, utilizing our proprietary software, we can actually target that specific avatar as a outbound connection request. And so that outbound message may be something along the lines of, hey, we're both working in the automotive industry. I've been following you for some time. I'd like to, you know, um, have a quick conversation or, you know, just something, you know, particularly benign. And then that message will go out via our system. And over time, that, that audience starts to develop. You start to see accepted connection requests. That's a vital thing on LinkedIn because once you're a first level connection, you can have immediate direct messages on LinkedIn. Follow, it might be a four, five, six message um, automation that we set up. And then our goal at, at, at Linked VA now is to pull that conversation off of LinkedIn and place it into your, you know, whatever your native CRM is, whether that's Sugar or uh, Zoho or Salesforce. I mean, we integrate with um, 98% of of uh, CRMs. And so we're doing that thing, which you've just said, you know, is, is so difficult. It's to pull that conversation off the social platform and into the CRM that you're, you're working through on a daily basis. Um, so the linked profile audit that, that you have the link down there too is, is something that we are doing for free, um, you know, for your viewers. And in this profile audit, um, click, click the link, you'll submit your LinkedIn profile. And then our team of account managers will take it. Uh, we'll look at your overall profile health. We'll take a look at your graphics. We'll take a look at your headline, your about section, contact information, your spotlight of skills and, and actions, and your general profile activity. And then we'll actually generate, um, it's like eight different points. We'll generate sort of pass or fails. We'll send that out to you along with a profile optimization guide and an offer to actually uh, do a consultation with us where we can walk through, you know, what we've discovered. And, you know, this type of auditing, this type of review is typically like a $300 value um, in terms of what agencies are typically charging for this front end service. We're doing it 100% for free, but we believe that once we've been able to show you uh, what can be done just in the basic um, operating function of tuning up your profile, we get to talk a little bit more about our program and actually hiring us to, to, to really be your agent to focus on, you know, getting those leads produced. And, and on average, we're generating between 30 and 60 leads per month um, for our typical client. And uh, when you consider that the monthly fee for a single seed is $697, I mean, that's a pretty low cost per lead. Um, particularly when you think about how these leads are coming in, they're connecting with you authentically to your brand specifically. They're not just doing a Google search. They, they know you by name. You've communicated with them directly. And so when you have that first meeting, it's, you know, it's, it's certainly not a cold call. Uh, it is certainly, you know, a, a pre-qualified um, vetted prospect. Uh, and that's really the power of what we're able to do with LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean the whole the whole thing I'm hearing here, the general theme is having a, a warm to hot conversation with somebody is is going to save you a ton of time as a business owner, and having this service run in the background well also time saving. So it's really you know maximize your time and still turn LinkedIn into a gold mine, like we said right. in the beginning of the episode. Um, this is this is fantastic, and I love that you gave the the profile audit too because. In theory, you know, I don't, I don't make it a practice to judge people. You don't want to judge a book by its cover, right? We, we say these beautiful things, but we do it. And we go on people's LinkedIn profiles and their, their other social media profiles. We see what they, they look like and we judge them without giving them that chance. So why wouldn't you want to at least give yourself the best shot to stand out? Go take the audience, see the report that you get on the backside and, and make those changes. I think that's, uh, 
that's a very valuable service there. So thank you for offering that. Yeah. And our guide is about five pages long. I mean, it's got a ton of great recommendations and ideas about what you can do. So, you know, do it for yourself. I mean, if you, if you feel like your LinkedIn game needs help, start with this free audit because it's, we're going to tell you, you know, it's, it's solid. You're in good shape. Here's a few recommendations. Or you may think you're in good shape and we come in and tell you, hey, you're you're losing the battle across eight different you know, measurements. And so here's a guide on, on how to tune that up. And, and it's no secret. P what people typically discover is there's some real work and energy involved in getting good yield from LinkedIn. But, you know, at the end of the day, what you're really focused on is number of conversations, number of qualified prospects. And so we make that our business. One, one last thing about LinkedVA now in addition to the team working on a daily basis, you're, you're actually getting to your email, email inbox on a weekly basis, a full report on all the actions that have been taken in the previous week. And so there's, you're never going to be wondering, you know, am, is it working? Am I getting leads? I mean, you're getting a report from us. You're going to see the leads populate in your CRM. So it's a, it's a very transparent system and service. That's incredible. I love that. Well, Charles, this has been a very insightful episode and valuable episode for people who want to leverage LinkedIn to grow their business, which I mean, in this day and age, you said it, a billion monthly active users, you almost can't afford not to be on the platform if you own a small business. So um, I encourage everybody to go take that action step. I'm curious, last question before I let you go, before we wrap this episode up. If you're watching, you can see behind me, there is a giant lit up upside down question mark. We believe at what if... And at this podcast, that powerful questions produce powerful answers, and that's how you can grow your business. So, Charles, I'm going to throw it to you a question to give me a question. If someone is approaching LinkedIn to turn it into a gold mine, what is a good question they should be asking themselves in order to leverage that platform for success? I think a very important question they need to ask themselves is what is the value, like hard dollar value of a qualified prospect? What is it, what is it really worth to you? Um, for the chance to close? And then what is the lifetime value of my typical customer? Like really have command of those numbers. Because if you don't know those numbers, then I could tell you it's $50. I could tell you it's $5,000. It could be either a good deal or a terrible deal. You won't know. So you need to know what you're willing to pay for a qualified lead. And you need to know what a customer is actually worth to you. And surprisingly, um, a lot of folks are out there doing business and they've, they may have known that in the beginning and they've lost sight of it. So that is the question they need to ask of themselves. What is a what is a qualified lead worth to me? And what is a what is a customer worth to me? And how much time do you want to spend acquiring that lead or customer? That's yeah. time is money, right? Absolutely. I love it. That's what we're all about is getting business owners their time freedom back. So leverage good tools when you can find them. So Charles, thank you for being a guest on this show. This is a fantastic conversation. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it. For those of you watching, listening, you have the offer. It's in the description down below. Free LinkedIn profile audit on your personal profile. But also make sure you subscribe to the show. So we want to give you these daily tips every single day of the week so that you can get out of the box you're in, grow your business, get to that next level, and see the success that you ultimately started your business to achieve in the first place. Keep watching Harmonious at Lunch, and we'll see you on the next episode.